All right, welcome back, guys. Um, we're gonna take some time today. We're gonna try to break this lesson to two separate videos. So the first video we're gonna do is the concept of um, the uh, elasticity of demand. Now, um, I'm I'm sure you guys studied this in your eco economics class. Um, so pretty much in this class here, we're gonna try to make sense of the concept uh, using uh, a value in mathematics to describe um, the elasticity of demand in other words what we're looking at here is we're going to try to describe how sensitive how sensitive is demand uh when price is changing okay so that's our goal there um so to introduce this um uh, we uh, ultimately, what we want to do is, when is it for a company to uh, increase a price <clears throat> in a product that will lead to an increase in revenue? That's the goal of any company is to make money because once you have an increase in revenue, you can have increase in profit as well. And uh, another question we want to ask ourselves is, how come restaurants don't increase their um, prices of their menu item often? Um, oftenly... Uh, if this is the case here, the company will lose the um, demand of the customers. Um, so they try not to raise the prices often due to many competition. Um, uh, for example, uh, there's a lot of uh, fast food restaurants out there. And when one restaurant raises their price of their menus, um, other people will look for the alternative. So um, that's another thing you learn in economics as well. It de depends on the type of product, uh, the elasticity of that product can be inelastic or elastic so it depends whether the the product itself is considered a necessity or not um then um you know the company decide can either raise the price or or not raise the price uh, otherwise they lose customers okay um so to uh go over more of this what we want to do is we want to introduce another concept that lead to elasticity concept um so what we want is we want to consider this example first. Uh, so the example we're going to go over is this here. Consider uh, we have two different stocks, uh, Biotech and Comstock. And uh, we know that the share for Biostat is increased by $2 per year. And Comstock's price is increasing by $1 per year. So our goal is which one is better to invest in. Okay. Uh, so it would be good to know. To, to answer this question, we're good to know how much is is the cost per share for each type of stocks. Um, then we determine which one is better about. Okay. So what we can do here is we can list the uh, two things, two stocks that we have here. We have Biotech and Comstat. All right. We know that uh, Biotech is $100 per share. All right. And Comstat is... Uh, twenty five dollars per share. Okay, and then biotech is is the share will increase by two dollars per year. And then, uh, Comstat is by one dollar per year. Okay, so which stocks is better to buy? Is a better buy. Well, if you look at um, the rate of increasing of each stock relatively, um, this one is, is increased two dollar per year. And this is a dollar per year. So if we spend a dollar, uh, hundred dollars uh, for biotech at the end of each year, we gain um, what two dollars uh, of profit or net return, whatever you want to call it. In this case, if we spend a dollar on this, excuse me, hundred dollars on that then we're looking at a $4 profit here for just the first year. So it looks like, looks like Comstat is the better buy in this case here. Okay. Um, I want to bring your attention to this here. So these two things here, this is the rate. We can think of this as your, you know, DX DT in this case, or um, the F prime of X. And here's your F of X there. So we've already known this already. So we got derivative and then we have the function value. Um, so to compute these, <clears throat> these amount of profit or, or um, how much is the stocks is increased per year here. Another way of looking at this is through uh, percents of increase. 
so this is what we also learned before taking this class. Um, that is saying that we take the uh, increased value or the new value that has been increased by $2, subtract their starting value and divide by their original value. And that will give us $2, 2 over 100, and that is 0 0.02 times 100. That will give us a 2% of increase per year. Um, and if we look at Comstat, um, $26 for first year minus $25 over 25. We're looking at 1 over 25. And that's a, that's a 0.4% increase per year there. So, of course, this is the better buy. Okay. All right. But we have already know how to calculate the percentage increase. Before this class, we just knew that, okay, that's what we're supposed to do. In this class, what we just did there is, is taking the derivative of the function, compare that to the function value itself, uh, and, and, and we call that by the, 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 the word relatively rate of change. So that's going to be our first definition. Okay, so our first definition we have for this lesson is going to be uh, relative rate of change. Okay, all right. Uh, and that is defined by uh, uh, f prime of x over f of x. Okay, so given the functions, the relative rate of change is the derivative of the function at that value over the function value at that value. Or, this is the same thing as the derivative of the natural log functions of f of x. Now, notice that if we take the derivative of the natural log function, okay, we get 1 over f of x, and then applying the chain rule, we get f prime of x. Okay, so it's the same thing whether we, we look at this or that, it's, it's in trouble with the same thing. Um, if you remember, we talked about this type of ratio already. Uh, when we discussed the compound <coughs> continuous formula, and that was uh, if we have the function a is equal to p e r t. Okay, oops. Um, e r t. Then a prime is going to be p e r t times r using the derivative of e to x functions. Um, so we're looking at a prime as just uh, a times r, so the value r itself, the annual rate of interest, is the same thing as uh, a prime over a, which is your relative rate of change there. In other words, what we're looking at there, r is the annual percentage interest, which is also the percentage increase in stocks or any investments. Um, so we need this concept relative rate of change, which we already know before taking this class, to introduce the next concept, which is the elasticity of demand. Um, but before we get there, um, let's look at another example. Okay, um, this is an example of you know how do we know how do we calculate revenue with respect to certain demand and and what does it mean for price to increase and demand to decrease in general when you have a product of anything. Uh, any product, if you increase the price of any product, uh, generally the demand of that product will decrease. Um, uh, hence why the demand curves always have a negative slope. Okay, so let's answer this question here. So assume the increased price by $1 per unit, then the demand will decrease by 500 units. If the, if the objective is to increase revenue, should we increase the price by $1 um, by looking at the two scenarios here? Suppose the current price uh, for eight dollars per baseball cap, and then there's a demand for six thousand caps. So we want to know if by increase, we want to know if by increase one dollars per cap will that increase in revenue. Okay, so that's a goal. Well, let's find out here. Let's find out if that's the case here. Um, let's start out by computing the current the current revenue. And that is the current price times the current demand. So we're looking at revenue times uh, equal to eight times six thousand. So that's forty-eight thousand for the current revenue. Okay. Now uh, new revenue. Okay. The new revenue will be the revenue calculated by the new price, which is the nine dollars now, uh, from eight to nine. 
and then the demand itself will decrease by 500 so we're looking at 9 times 5500 and what is that value there what is 9 times 5500 let me use my calculator real quick here so 9 times 5500 so 49,500 so looks like the revenue is is going up so yes um, uh, <clears throat> uh, we should increase the price because in this case the revenue will increase okay all right um, I'm gonna let you try part B on your own there part B here in this case can be no and you're gonna show the work on your own uh, uh, you try to do this 